Greetings everyone. So today I'm going to fulfill a viewer request. I get a lot of requests on my videos that I do where people ask me to help them with certain things. And this one I've done before and I want to share it with the viewer and you in case you want to try to do it. So the question from the viewer was, how can they hardwire their cell phone or their tablet into their internet. Now I've done this project before because I had the same curiosity at one point. So it's very simple to do. All you're going to need is this right here. And I have one of them in my hand right now to show you how to actually do it. If it has the mini USB, you're going to need this particular connector and the links to these two parts are going to be in the description. Now the steps I'm about to show you works on an Android devices. I cannot really confirm if it works on an Apple device because I haven't tried that experiment yet. But if I do try to get it to work, I'll let you know and come back and show you in a future video. So as long as you have an Android device, pay attention because this step will work for you. So my phone in particular has a USB-C port. So all I have to do is find a port, plug in the cable, just like this. So after you got that plugged in, you're going to need your Ethernet cable, whether it's running from your modem or your switch or anything else you got it running from. Now, all you have to do now is plug in the Ethernet cord into the other end of the adapter. After it's plugged in, you're going to get a link light. It's going to be a green light and an orange blinking light. Once you get those two lights going, the green and the blinking orange, then it's all set. Now, here's a side note. While you have this adapter plugged into your phone, it's going to eat away at your battery life. So make sure you have a fully charged phone while you're doing this because this adapter will need power to supply you the internet through the ethernet cable. Okay. So after you plug in the cable, there's a step that you need to take because you need to let the phone realize that it's using the ethernet and not your network or even your Wi-Fi in your house. To really test it, you'd have to turn off your Wi-Fi and just use your data network. Do a speed test to see if you're connected or not. So first I'm going to do a speed test with just my data connection. So this is my download speed first being tested. And here is my upload speed being tested. So as you can see, my final download speed was 18.1 megabits per second and my upload speed was 15.6 megabits per second. Now let's run that speed test again now that we got the cable connected. So there you go. As you can see, the download speed this time was 457 megabits per second, while the upload speed is always low anyway, is at 22.1 megabits per second. Now you're probably going to get the same amount of speed with your Wi-Fi connection as you would with this hardwired connection. But that's all going to depend on your phone, you know, what kind of Wi-Fi signal can it pick up and how far you are from the Wi-Fi connection. But if you really want to go down this road, like I said, it is possible that you can hardwire your phone or your tablet. And like I said, I'm speaking for the Android tablets and the Android phone. I know it's possible because I've done it several times before. Now your situation might vary depending on your phone or your tablet. As long as it's an Android, I know for sure it does work. Don't forget that this is going to eat up a lot of your battery because the phone is powering this ethernet adapter to give it power to give you internet through the hardwired connection. So keep an eye on your battery life if you plan on doing this. So if you just want to do this for experimental sake, or you just need to hardwire your phone into your internet because you're having bad signal connection through your Wi-Fi, or you're having low data speed between you and your carrier network, well, this is how it's done. The links to all what you're going to need to make this happen is in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.